Hey, what's up everyone? With Season 7 releasing last week, I think it's a good time to give my first impressions of the season and how I think this season will do overall. So, for the most part, I'm pretty positive on this season. I really like the captaincy update. A lot of things were pretty good in it, and a few things I was a little disappointed by. I think probably the first thing I want to talk about is what I was disappointed by since we're already here, and that's with the Sovereign. I think they could have made the Sovereign a lot better. First off, what I would have done is I would have had you, when you spawn in on your ship, your ship would spawn on the dock with the Sovereign instead of the normal dock. This would have helped made it feel a lot more different to have a captain ship than a regular ship. I also think the Sovereign should have a lot more to do. So currently all the Sovereign do is just sell your loot. And that's cool and all, it's a lot faster than it used to be. And in my opinion, I think that hurts PvP a little bit because some of my favorite battles have been at outposts when people are selling, or maybe when I'm selling, people are coming in attack. There's a nice like a little bit of edge to it. But with the Sovereign, it's so quick to sell that it really does not... There is no risk factor, honestly, I feel like. So I feel like that hurts it a little bit. But I can get over that because I think, in general, it's a nice addition. And it's not for everyone, it's just for the captain ships. What I think they could have done with the Sovereign and really wouldn't have been that much of a change is instead of having the captain's voyages and the captain's supplies sold by the shipwright, they should have had them to the Sovereign. I mean, that makes a lot more sense. Sovereign are all for the captains and stuff. Why not let them deal with all the captain's voyages and supplies and everything? I feel like the only reason they had our ships still spawn on the other dock is just so that we could customize their ship. But honestly, I would have been fine with them just adding another shipwright like box for you to change your stuff next to the Sovereign. And then if you really needed to buy new stuff, you just go over to the shipwright. It's not that far of a walk for most of the outposts. I also would have liked to have seen with the Sovereign adding uh, basically a level system similar to the other trading companies. Say whether it's 75 levels, even 50 levels I would have taken. And they could have had cosmetics that are attached for different levels of selling to them for different cosmetics that would have worked on your captain ship. Maybe some new trinkets and other stuff. I mean, it seems kind of simple to me. I don't know why they didn't even do that. That seems like the bare minimum, in my opinion. The software just seemed kind of bland to me, and honestly, they just aren't as interesting to me as the other trading companies. I'm not saying that it's not like a good thing to sell to them and stuff. And I've been selling to them a lot, and I've enjoyed how quick it is. I also really liked how they have a little rowboat dock on it. That's been really helpful for me. But like I had said in that original video, it's like their tent is more interesting to me and like the way they sell the stuff here is more interesting to me than the actual Sovereign themselves. I think in the future though, they'll play more into the storyline of the game. We've already seen some teasers about how the Merchants Alliance are a little suspicious of them and stuff. And I know people have been thinking that they're gonna turn into the Grand Maritime Union or they're connected to them in some way. So I'll keep out hope for that, and maybe we'll get a future update with them, where they'll get their own voyages and other stuff, where they're fighting against the other trading companies. So I'll be hopeful for that, but as it is right now, the Sovereign are a bit underwhelming to me. Earlier I mentioned the shipwright supplies and the captain voyages that are sold, and I think people went a little overboard with that one video, where I was just comparing both the shipwright and the merchants. I wasn't saying that the shipwright was bad or anything, I was just trying to show which one was more valuable, which one was the better deal. But, whatever. I think it's fine, and like I said in that video, I think the fruit, the raw meat, and the bait are really good deals. You could even get the cannonballs and the wood planks too, if you're just going to buy both and you just want as much supplies as you can. So, all of that's pretty great. I mean, nice quality of life update. I wouldn't say it was a necessary update that was needed, but it's fine. I would be interested to see them add Chain Shot in the future though. Chain Shot seems to be the thing that's hardest for me to find in the game, and I'd love to see them add that. The Captain Voyages, I was a little disappointed because when they originally talked about it, they said it was going to be smaller voyages that are like, that you could be more predictable and like how long it was going to take and stuff. I think my disappointment with it was more of the messaging. The way it is now in the game is basically just a way to buy all the voyages in the game, and you can added to your captain ship, it's not stored on your own personal inventory. And I think that works out pretty well. 
I like buying the bulk amount of the Legend of the Veil Voyages and we're just adding a bunch of those in and that kind of stuff. So I think that works out pretty well. It is a little disappointing. I was hoping to get like smaller versions of the Pyro Legend Voyages because it's how they originally made it sound like it was going to be. That didn't happen, but I do like what we have now. But with that though, I am a little disappointed and I mentioned in that other video that it feels like this update really just took out all meaning from the other trading companies. While you might not care about that, that's fine, and I'm not saying that, I'm not going to try to change your opinion on it, but for me personally, playing Sea of Thieves for like past four or five years, however long it's been, I've kind of grown attached to the Gold Hoarders and Order Souls, and it's fun to like sell to them and stuff, in my opinion, and now that there's really no point to buy voyages from them or sell to them, I have not gone to them at all since this update came out, and I think that's a little disappointing. I'm hoping that maybe Rare in the future will buff the trading companies a bit, maybe give them something new to do or something. But as I see it right now, there really is no reason to go talk to them at all. But those are kind of my like disappointments of the season. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I feel like my disappointments are more just that they could have done more with it rather than something they did was bad. So moving on, the main part of this update was all the captain ships and all the, like, the cosmetics and changes that came with it. And I'm really happy with what we've gotten. I think all the, like, the little trinkets and stuff are really fun to decorate the ship with. I know some people are upset about them, saying that like other people aren't going to be able to see the trinkets unless they're on your ship boarded or something. Or you have them like over as your like, alliance or something like that. But to me, I don't really care. I don't care if other people see it. I don't care to flex what I have or anything. I just cared that I can decorate my ship and just enjoy the way it looks. I think all the new like furniture stuff that we got added was cool, like that you can change that and stuff, but the fact it's such a grind to unlock any of them. Currently I have not unlocked anything that I could buy as like in terms of like the customized voyage table or anything like that. So it's a little disappointing but I'm fine with it right now because it doesn't really affect me too much. I'm having a lot more fun with the trinkets right now. And in terms of customization, my favorite part is like the ship banners that you look and see like through your spyglass, you can see someone's banner or when you approach your ship, it'll show your banner. I like that you can customize that. I'm really looking forward to unlocking more customizations to that. And I really like the flags and stuff we've unlocked and the ship log, the ship logs were really cool in my opinion. I really like going in there and looking at like what we've done in that session so far, how much gold we've earned, all sorts of little statistics and stuff. I think that's really cool. Speaking of like the statistics and stuff, my absolute favorite part of this update, which was a bit of a surprise to me because I wasn't expecting it to be my favorite part, is the milestones. Milestones have been my favorite addition in here. It really encourages me to keep playing the game and just try different stuff to do. I really like how they future-proofed this system by making it so that the classes are indefinite and they just keep going on forever, which means that they don't have to add new levels to it. All they have to do is in the future, if they want to add new cosmetics, they just put the cosmetic in there and then put a level class for it and you just unlock it at some point. I think that's really great and I think this is a lot better than the accommodations we used to have. The milestones seem a lot more similar to the Renown where it works in the background and you just kind of level up as you play. I don't know. I hope that made sense. I think the milestones are a lot better version of the accommodations and I've been really enjoying just keeping track of it, just trying to level up different stuff. Currently I've been going for sea forts and doing all the phantoms and stuff, trying to get that done and, you know, doing some PvP, doing the cannon fire stuff. I wish there was more milestones related to PvP. It seems a little lacking to me. It seems weird that there's nothing like killing an enemy player, even if it's just killing a uh, enemy crew that's like an emissary. Even that would have been good enough, but I don't see any of that in there. If I missed that, definitely let me know in the comments below, but from what I see, I haven't seen anything like that. Surprisingly though, other than the milestones, my other favorite addition this season was the pistol I got from the Pirate Emporium. So I did it before you buy, got it on the weapon set that came with this. And usually when I do these weapon sets, I typically only use the Cutlass afterwards, mainly because I 
am very attached to the pistol I used to use. I use the Ebon pistol, or sometimes I use the Aristocrat pistol, and maybe some other ones that are the same model. I usually don't change it up because it's really important for me to have that little sight at the end to aim. But I found that this new pistol is really good for shooting and aiming with, and I've kind of used that as my main weapon lately since the update came out. So both that and the milestones are two really big surprises for me of, in terms of like really enjoying and happy with it. Now looking forward, is this going to be enough to last probably the three months at minimum that we're going to have to wait till season eight? I think if they do adventures right, it'll be fine. I also am hoping that they add something mid-season, similar to how we got the Legend of the Veil vale voyage last season. But I don't know if that's going to happen. They haven't said anything about it, and I don't want to like be hopeful for something and then be disappointed that nothing comes out. I'm sure that the adventures coming up are going to be really good. The next one's going to be focused on finding Merrick and stuff, following up from the previous adventure, and I think that's going to be really interesting. But so far, I'm really enjoying Season 7. I'm having a lot of fun doing some PvP and stuff. A lot of people are active in the game right now, which typically happens at the beginning of the season. So it's really fun to go out, steal some stuff. We did some trivia with some people on the stream the other night. Probably going to have that turn into a video soon. And just having a lot of fun. A few days ago, I ran a poll on the channel to see what y'all thought about Season 7. And the majority of you, 72% of you, said that it's just fine. It's not the greatest update that we've ever gotten. But it's, you know, it's okay. I think that's pretty good. That's kind of where I fall in. I wouldn't say this is the greatest season we've had. I would say my top seasons are probably more towards Season 5, honestly. This is very similar to Season 5. I think Season 5 added a lot more interesting stuff. Whereas Season 7 is more like back-end stuff. Like the milestones, the captaincy stuff. Things that you can't initially do immediately when you get in the game, but are going to be very nice quality of life changes going forward. But those are my thoughts on Season 7. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this season and what your favorite part of it has been so far. If you enjoyed this video, you'd be great with a like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.